Good morning. Happy first week of classes for the spring semester. Here is the teacher fit. I'm going to go teach my two sections of freshman writing slash digital literacy and can't lie, I'm pretty nervous, but we're running late, so let's go because I think I have to scrape my car. <laughs> teaching is done. I'm sitting in my car back home about to go inside but I realized I didn't introduce myself and I feel like first week of class vlogs always like get some new viewers so hi I'm Sarah. I'm a PhD student at Indiana University. I study English specifically rhetoric and composition. I'm in my sixth year of my program and I am teaching for the first time in like a year because it was on fellowship meaning I was just focusing on my dissertation and research and not teaching but I'm teaching a first year writing class all about digital literacy and it is themed around social media influencers and it was really exciting to be back in the classroom for the first time in a while. I was nervous but I always love meeting the new students and seeing how they're like really excited to learn about writing through like a really cool new lens. So it is 12.30 now, classes didn't go the full time because it's just like going over the syllabus. So I'm gonna go inside, eat some leftovers for lunch, and then a fun little tradition that I have is always baking a cake on the first day of school. It's something I grew up with my mom doing and it's just like really fun and special for me. So I'm gonna bake a cake from scratch. I'm gonna use Dessert Person or Claire Saffitz, her confetti cake recipe. So I'm gonna have to go to Kroger and get some ingredients for that. Okay, got the ingredients and let's get to work. Little babies are in the oven. I'm sad, the cake sank and I don't know why this happened. They were fully cooked, the toothpick came out clean. Um, someone who knows more about baking, tell me where it went wrong. Okay, while those cakes cool completely, I'm gonna get some work done. I'm like so bummed, I hope it still tastes good because I'm like switching up the frosting stuff and been a lot of work but it was a project I wanted to take on anyway I am in the process of applying for some fellowships so I can focus on finishing up my dissertation applying to jobs doing my research all of that next year and not have to worry about the extra labor of teaching so it'd be really great if I could get a fellowship so I've been working on these for a while they I'm applying for two different ones they are due both at the end of this week, which is wild. So one of them requires transcripts from my undergrad university, which is University of Florida, which is like, I haven't logged into that email in a really long time. So I just called them and asked how I can like reset my email so I can like get the unofficial transcripts because the official ones would take too long to come. So I'm gonna do that and continue powering through this application because there are like so many little questions for this fellowship application. And it asked me for like a lot of info about grad school, but also like a lot of experiences in undergrad too. So, wish me luck. This is what we're working with. So I have some guesses. I think I either overmixed it, but I'm not taking fault for that because I did exactly what she said. One thing about me, I can follow directions. And my sister who bakes a lot says maybe the baking powder was old and there was a lot of baking powder in this. So that could have affected it. And cause I think it just baked unevenly because it was just like, I think I want to cut one open to show it, but it was basically just like so raw and gooey. Like it felt like it wasn't done, but the outsides, Megan and I have been chipping away at it. They taste like cake and they taste good. No frosting needed. So I think I'm just not even going to bother frosting and it's going to be, I hope this isn't an omen for the semester. You know that, you know, that's making me nervous. Oh, no, no, it's not, it's not. We tried. I mean, if this is what the dissertation looks like when it's done, I'm I'm happy. Cause you can eat it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just scoop out all the dumb stuff in the middle, which is literally what my dissertation's gonna be. 
not her fault. I mean, it might Still be. good. I'm just bummed that the ingredients were expensive, but whatever. <sighs> I mean, they, like my Kroger bill, well, I bought $10 worth of coffee because I bought Nespresso pots, but my Kroger bill was like 50 bucks. But I like restocked vegetable oil, baking powder. I know, I was shocked too. I got two of those sprinkles, got powdered sugar, got butter. That's I got tough. Cheerios, yeah. That's a, that's a tough one. The $50 cake. This is a tough one. <laughs> okay, it's nine o'clock. Can't really see it with this lighting, but I'm gonna take a shower so I can get in bed and read more of my book. Cake and some coffee for breakfast. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. This morning I woke up at 7.30 because it's my goal just to wake up at the same time every day this semester and 7.30 feels reasonable. And I got to work on these fellowship applications. So the last thing that I have to do for one of the fellowship applications is write a 1000 word description of my research. And it has specific questions, sort of like, what is my research about? So an overview of my project, my methodology, the source of my data, the significance of my project, and then information of relevance or findings or anything like that. So English is like really hard to explain those types of things, like the source of my data. My project does rely on IRB and I have like specific data from a class that I taught, but for the most part, the bulk of my project and a lot of projects in English just simply come from like rhetorical analysis or close reading or rhetorical criticism and just like putting published texts in conversation with each other. So data looks a little bit different. Findings are sort of like, I kind of developed this theory and like, isn't it cool? But it's, I don't know, it's complicated. Also, I've mentioned in a few previous vlogs that writing this has proven really challenging for me because I'm writing to a general public audience, basically, and I'm having a really hard time knowing like what is understood by the public versus like what is more field specific. So one of the fellowships that I'm applying for is just through my department. So I knew that I could like just like they know what rhetoric and composition is and I could like just cite scholars in the field and I'm not worried about that. So now I'm trying to like refashion that essay for this other fellowship application and I'm also trying to like change the framing of it a little bit to focus more explicitly on women because the fellowship is um, like it, they give scholarships to women specifically. And so it's just like a lot of like mental work and this feels like I'm doing like rhetoric in action, like thinking of my author audience purpose, you know, all that stuff. All that to say, my mom, who is like one of my favorite humans, has so kindly agreed to read both these essays for me. And I think she's gonna be just like a really good representative sample to know uh, what's like understood by the general public and what sort of is going over her head just because she doesn't have a PhD in rec comp. So I'm hoping to get them finished up by tonight so I can send them to her tonight. And I wrote two solid paragraphs today so far, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm gonna eat some breakfast, maybe do a little bit more, and then I'm getting the haircut at noon. Okay, it's 11.30. I need to leave in like 15 minutes to go to my haircut appointment. Still in PJs. This is like a little PJ set that my mom bought me and my sisters for Christmas. It's matching. But since I'm sort of in a rush, I'm just gonna do like a really quick makeup. I wanna have something on my face because like you just are staring at yourself in the mirror for like an hour and a half while you get your haircut. So I'm just gonna do a quick full face of Merit Beauty. So I think that I manifested this in my vlog like a month ago when I showed my Black Friday haul for Merit and was like, they didn't gift me this, but I just love them because now they gifted me some stuff. So all their shipments come in this super pretty Merit bag. This is a special one that was like for the holidays, but the traditional bag has the same shape. It's super easy to travel with, really cute little like tie handle. And I have tried at this point literally every single one of their products and I'm obsessed with 
literally every single one of them. So first things first, I'm gonna start with their concealer stick. This is like concealer, foundation, everything all in one. I use the shade Silk. I just go under my eyes and then like any little blemishes that I have. Then blend it out with their little brush. If you get one thing from Merit, get this brush. It's incredible. And then a quick little bronzer stick moment. I use the shade Clay and I just go like cheekbones, a little on the forehead and then the jaw a little bit and blend that out. And then this is their Flush Balm. It is a new shade that they gifted me, Stockholm. It's really pretty. It's like this super bright pink color. So let's try it out. That's pretty. It'll be really pretty in the spring, especially a little on the nose. And then they gifted me this highlight as well. This is in shade Kava. And then we'll finish it off with a little lippy. This is in shade Jeté. And it's like this slightly tinted pink. She's cute. She's ready to go. She's simple. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I'm really into the no mascara look these days. So let's get dressed and go get a haircut. Okay, back from the haircut. She just basically trimmed everything up. Trimmed the layers, trimmed the bottom, trimmed the bangs. And she was just such a good job. Feel fresh and clean. And I'm going to do the dishes in the sink right there and unload the dishwasher and then we'll see what I get up to. Not really sure what I'm in the mood for right now. Okay, it is like an hour and a half later and I decided, you know, I'm not a quitter. I'm not gonna let that cake stay how it is. So I decided to turn it into cake pops because I was like, oh, I have some white chocolate up in my pantry and I'll just make like a quick little buttercream. Made the buttercream, the frosting, started rolling it out realized the white chocolate expired in 2022 so i just decided to put some frosting on top of the cake pops which defeats the whole purpose of cake pops it's supposed to like lock in the moisture here we are joanna's gonna come pick some up at uh six later tonight and i'm just gonna tell her if you don't eat them you don't eat them i did not mean for this entire vlog to turn into a cake saga but here we are okay it's somehow already 8 15. I didn't vlog much because I put my memory card into my computer to edit this past weekend's vlog. So if you haven't watched that already, go ahead and do that now. But we ate an early dinner just of some spaghetti. So I'm already like showered. I just need to do my nighttime skincare and I'm going to get in bed for the night. I do have to pick out a teacher outfit for tomorrow and prep my bag just to make things as like seamless as possible in the morning. But yeah, going to be an early bedtime tonight. Happy Wednesday. Let's go teach for day two of the semester. Here is the fit. Just wearing this striped sweater, these navy blue pants. It's navy blue stripes in the sweater. Then these black boots. Brown went a little bit better with it, but these are more comfy. And in 2024, we're choosing comfort for footwear. I learned my lessons. Didn't account for having to scrape my car. Okay. It's a little after 1.15 and I am definitely hangry, but we're getting into a story time slash vet. So, if you know me, you know I've had some issues with parking in the past year. Last year it was because something happened with my fellowship and it wasn't processed. Somehow they gave me half the amount that they were supposed to and so I didn't meet like the minimum threshold to qualify for insurance and to qualify to be able to get like the parking that I signed up for. I got that sorted out. I had health insurance by the end of the semester and I figured out the parking stuff. So I ordered a parking permit. Everything is different now because I'm no longer at fellowship. So I'm a regular like student academic appointee. I'm like getting paid like normal. So I got a parking permit and they, it, they mail it to you. So it didn't come on time yet, which typically happens. So they're like, you're allowed to print it out or you could just scan it um like on your phone before you get the actual printed pass so i was like okay cool so i go on monday and it isn't i don't have it printed yet so i just take a ticket because you could also pay hourly 
and when I'm leaving, I was like, oh, I'll just scan the permit. Um, and I scanned the permit on my phone, no problem, I left. I was gonna print it out, but the printer in the grad student lounge wasn't working. As always happens on the first day of class. So then today, I figured I should be able to do the same thing. Because this morning when I tried to scan on my phone, still wasn't working. So I took a little ticket, and I was like, when I leave, I will once again just scan my phone. So I try to scan my phone, it's not working. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, it's not working. People behind me start honking, and there was no person in the actual booth. It, everything is like automated. So I was like, this is ridiculous, I'll just pay the ticket. So I insert the ticket, it tells me I have to pay $21. For a parking permit, I've already paid $185 to be able to park at the place that I work, campus, for the semester. So I'm like, whatever, I'll just pay. I try to insert my card, not reading it. So it's card read failure. Insert another card, card read failure. So I'm like, at this point, I'll just have to call for assistance. So I call for assistance, it automatically connects me with someone. There's like a little screen, it's like a little webcam type deal. And she's like, what's the issue? I let her know, I read her the number on my permit. She says that my permit for some reason is inactive. And I said, but it worked on Monday. And she was like, I don't know what to tell you. And I was like, well, I have a ticket here because it wasn't working when I tried to scan in. And she's like, well, if you took a ticket, you have to pay the ticket. And I was like, but I have a permit. They've like waived the ticket before. And she was like, well, whatever, just pay the ticket. And at this point, I'm just so, so frustrated. It's been like 10 minutes. People are still honking. I feel so bad. And I was like, okay. So I was like, I'm scanning my car and it's not reading it. And she was like, you have to make sure the magnetic strip is on the bottom. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm making sure the magnetic strip is on the bottom. She said, do you know what a magnetic strip is? Do I know what a magnetic strip is? So then the call disconnects. And then I'm just stuck there with a little parking garage arm down. I'm just trying to get home after teaching. And she calls me back and she was like, okay, I'm gonna have to get some information from you. And I was like, okay. So I give her my first and last name as I've already given her. She says, people will be in contact with me to charge me my $21. And she lifts up the arm and I go home. And then I immediately call the parking office because I need to know if my, something's wrong with my parking permit. I let her know what's going on. I told her I had to pay $20. And she said, I'm so sorry. And she was very sweet. And she was like, you should get that resolved. Here's what you have to do. You have to send an email to someone or you need to call this number and leave a voicemail and tell them what's going on. I think what happened is something was just going on with the machine because Joanna texted me and she said something's happening to the person in front of her who wasn't able to leave either. But I just wish someone could have said, hey, our machine isn't working now, rather than assuming it was my fault and that I don't know what a magnetic strip is. Okay, it's 2.15, I chilled out, ate some lunch, no longer hangry, recovered from my parking debacle, like mentally, and now I'm gonna do some work. It is really nice teaching earlier this semester. I don't think I've ever taught as early as 9.45. So it's nice because I'm home and I still have like a lot of the afternoon in front of me to get some work done. Typically on Wednesdays, starting next week, I will work at the Writing Center, so Wednesdays are gonna be the one day week, besides weekends, where I don't work on my dissertation. Um, just because I'm so busy with teaching and writing center stuff. So I'm going to use today to focus on those fellowship applications instead of DISS stuff. Lately I've been doing fellowship stuff, which is like in a way doing DISS stuff because ideally it would give me more time next semester or like next year to work on DISS stuff if I get them. Anyway, they really need to get done. Per, you want me to open that? I should open that. Then I'm going to write. Finished the one fellowship essay, feel really good about that. Now all I have left to do is like write a letter of application for a departmental fellowship. I don't think that'll be bad. And I'm having a little snack of popcorn poppy. Megan is upstairs getting some Toblerone because I was like, I really wish I had m for my popcorn. She's eating a little lunch and we're gonna watch the next episode of Housewives of Salt Lake City. Okay, it is 5.45, I have showered. Let me shut this taking off all their makeup and I'm actually gonna go on a cute little dinner date I think I think we're gonna go to the Allery which is one of my favorite places it's like an all vegetarian place and it's so yummy and I just feel like that food will feel like warm and cozy and good on this like dark rainy day but I want to show you guys the outfit this is a cardigan that I thrifted a while back the Abercrombie jeans that are soon and fast becoming my favorite 
wearing the brown booties now and throwing on this brown purse from Teddy Blake. They actually gifted this to me several months ago and I've worn it a lot. <laughs> I've traveled with it and it is truly one of my favorite bags. It's literally the perfect size. I love that it has short handles and long handles and it has kept its like pristine condition. I'm gonna show you guys a close up of the details. So here it is up close, 100% genuine leather made from the same Italian factories that they make designer bags in. And it still has like that new smell, which like I love, reminds me of like how you love like new car smell. I just emptied everything out so I could show you. Super soft on the inside, just two big pockets here, a small pocket in the middle right here, which I forgot to empty out. There's some Pepto-Bismol in there. Very on brand for me gold hardware so cute so pretty i've never owned any like expensive high-end bag before so i'm super excited to have this and i feel like so bougie and expensive and luxurious whenever i wear it and i'm so impressed with how it's held up the stitching on it is absolutely perfectly intact they're also having their semi-annual sales. If you want to get this bag or check out other bags from them, they're offering up to 70% off, which is like incredible. So take advantage of that deal. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Another morning sitting on my couch with my cup of coffee. I just watched Danielle Carolyn's latest vlog. I just love her vlogs, they're always like so entertaining. They are not necessarily relatable for me, but I don't know, I just like really admire her editing. Even though I know she has an editor, it's just, I feel like they're, the editing, I always get a lot of good ideas from that. So I think I'm going to make some breakfast now and then get started on the very last piece of these fellowship apps. I just have to basically write a letter of application or sort of like cover letter for the fellowship that I'm applying for with my department basically saying here is the progress that I've made on my dissertation so far. If I had the fellowship, here's what I plan on doing with the money. I already wrote the dissertation abstract, so I might reference that like a little bit, but I don't need to like explain what my research is about or anything because I already did that. So hopefully I can knock this out in like one to two hours tops. And then finally today I can get into working on the edits of my actual dissertation. This week, I tried to like be gentle with myself and like easing back into a routine, but it's been a little bit hard because I know that like this week I've had like more free time than I will other weeks because I haven't been working at the writing center because that doesn't start up till the second week of the semester. And because Megan has just been like grinding, she's been waking up, she's been going to coffee shops, she's just been getting after the dissertation. And like, I'm so proud of her and I like, really admire her work ethic. But it's like really hard when you live with someone who's in the same program as you and i'm just like oh megan's working i need to be working but there are times when i'm sure she sees me working and she's like ah oh, sarah's working i should be working so at the end of the day she's grinding and good for her but i need to let that inspire me to do some grinding on my dissertation too okay it's a little after one o'clock and i got all the fellowship stuff submitted i feel super proud and satisfied I just have to wait on two more letters of rack to officially be like submitted from some of my professors before I can like on my end just hit the submit button. But I proofread everything like for a third time, caught some more errors, so I'm just gonna be done looking at it. And it's like a weight lifted off my shoulders. My mom also got back to me and she told me that she was able to completely follow along with my research in both for like the general audience and for like the department audience. So that was really interesting. I thought she might get bogged down with some like field specific words I was using for like rep comp, but she said that it was easy for her to follow. I mean, my mom is like a genius, so it doesn't surprise me. But anyway, that made me feel good. And now I think I'm gonna need some lunch. I'm actually going to campus today at four for someone in my department is giving me a research talk, another grad student. I don't wanna hear that. Um, and then I'm gonna go to dinner with her. It's a grad student in my program. And yeah. That's where we're at. I don't think I'm gonna get started on the desk stuff today just cause it's already one. You see, this is my way of like justifying things, but like that's like a big mental load I'll have to do. So I'm like, okay, sitting down, getting in like the headspace to work, that's like 30 minutes. And then before you know it, I'm only gonna be able to get like 30 minutes of work done. So we're just gonna, we're gonna put it off till tomorrow. And I feel okay with that because I'll make myself work 
on a Saturday too. Gonna be so brave and take all that recycling to another apartment community that we recycle in and take out the trash. Much later now, it is like 8.40. Back home from campus, from the research talk, and I went to dinner with the person my cohort who gave the research talk and with Megan. Went to Feta, I got the protein powerhouse bowl, which is so unlike me, but it was like really good. It had like chicken, and boiled egg in it, and just like a bunch of really good little toppings. Feta is like a Mediterranean version of Chipotle. It's not a chain, it's like a local place here, but it's really good. And they have feta fries, which are like french fries with like feta cheese crumbled on top and like a bunch of really like yummy seasonings and a good sauce and it just really hit tonight. Megan said the same thing. And I am so tired. That was a lot of talking and socializing and I'm ready just to take a little shower, get cozy in bed, read more of this book. I've been reading this so slowly. It is a little slow going getting started too, I can't lie. Beartown was the first one. I raved about it. Incredible. Um, and the second one is a sequel, but so much of the book is just like explaining things that, like I already know happened. It's almost like it was written for people who maybe hadn't read Beartown, but like, I don't know. I know that it'll pick up. People warn me that it's a little slow going in the beginning. Let me take a shower. I want to wash my hair because I want the feeling of clean hair, but I have a new attachment that's coming from my shark blow dryer tomorrow. So I'm going to hold off one more day so I could use the new attachment tomorrow. Couldn't take it. Had to wash my hair. Felt like it smelled like feta. You know when you're like in a restaurant and you're sitting there for a while and your hair just like absorbs the stuff? Is that a bee thing? Probably can I move that stuff so I can sleep? Oh, excuse me. Pirelli, I have to go to bed. She won't let me take those pants. Pirelli, you gotta, you gotta. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Life is so hard. Good morning. Happy Friday. I look wild. This is always a reminder that my hair is actually like naturally wavy, not straight. Whenever I go to sleep with it wet and not styled. But today's dissertation day. But I need to get warmed up. So I'm going to do some reading. Just some reading for fun. And then we'll get into some things. Okay, it is 11.18. Probably has joined me, just looking out the window. And it's tough. It's really, really tough. So I think I need to motivate myself by trying to work in a coffee shop or something. It's like gray and gloomy, and it's really just making me want to crawl in bed and keep reading. So I gotta get out of here. I gotta, gotta, gotta get some work done. Otherwise, I'm gonna feel like really guilty, and I need to feel good about myself. I just need to get some work done. So trying to decide where to go. Megan's been going to Crumble Coffee, which is like a local coffee shop a lot lately. Thinking of going to Soma. We shall see where the day, the day takes me. Let me get dressed, wash my face, and get out of here and go. <laughs> okay i worked for about two hours it was hard the motivation was really really hard um i don't feel like it was the most focused sec session of work i've had but i got through the first half of the edits like first half of the chapter edits are completely done i know the second half has more work that needs to be done because i need to like completely oh my goodness pirelli hi hi bird Second half means I need to like completely do some like larger scale stuff, like reorganize some things. Um, but I'm again hoping to like knock that out in no more than two days because I need to like get these edits back to my advisor and like put this chapter to bed so I can move on to the next one. Because my goal is to have things done ideally by the beginning of fall next year so I can just like be full on the market and not stressed about it. Like stressed about finishing the disc. I think she wants a T-R-E-A-T. But you see, I don't want to like reward this nagging behavior, but she's so cute. So, do you want a treat? You want a treat? Okay, Bert. Sit. Good job. Good job. Good job, Bert. 
What are you gonna do? Parenting is hard. Anyway, vibes were really good. It was a little crowded at first, um, but people quickly like left. And I was like one of the only ones in there. Got a little tea. Ended up getting a pastry because I got hungry. But I need to eat some lunch now. It's been like raining all day. A cold friend's coming through. I can definitely tell because I just like forgot a coat. Just just Florida things. Leaves the house without a coat. And on the way back to the car, I was like, oh my gosh, it's really cold. So I just want to get all cozy now. Eat some lunch and read my book and just vibe. Trader Joe's soup dumplings felt right for the occasion of a great rainy day. Good morning. Happy Saturday. We got some snow. So exciting. So it is a little after 10. If you haven't noticed, my face is kind of like red and splotchy and so is my neck. I think I'm having an allergic reaction to the something. And the only thing I can think of, it was like this yesterday and today, is either something that was in that tea that I had at Crumble yesterday, or I started taking some probiotics. And I could be having a reaction to those. It definitely just feels like an allergic reaction. It's like all on the surface, so on the skin and not inside, which I feel like if it was an allergic reaction to something I ingested, it would be on the inside. I have no idea what's going on, um, but I'm about to take some Benadryl. <laughs> 2.30 now, face is still splotchy. Benadryl definitely helped some, but I don't know what's going on. It's so weird. I really think that it might be this probiotic. But I took a shower and I honestly just put on pajamas, even though it's 2 p.m. Because I just wanted to be cozy. I'm gonna use my new shark attachment. And then I'm gonna pop in this memory card and get to add it in the vlog. Okay, so this is a box that it came in. It's this frizz fryer finishing tool. And I noticed that when I would use the round brush to do my blowouts, it wasn't as like smooth as I wanted it to be. Honestly, sometimes the Revlon felt like it was smoother, but this is what it actually looks like. And you just sort of like run it through your hair like that. And oh my gosh, I feel like it made such a difference. I clip my hair into three layers when I do the blowout and I use that frizz fighter tool once I was done doing the blowout on each layer, I made sure it was like still slightly wet and it just looks so much smoother than it normally does. Love. But I think that's gonna be it for this vlog, mostly because I'm gonna put the memory card in and edit, but also because I don't wanna stare at myself in the camera while I'm so like red and splotchy. So if you guys made it to the end, thanks so much for watching this week in my life back to school for the spring 2024 semester. Let me know if you have any specific questions about my semester or any ideas for videos that you want to see on my channel. Always open to hearing that feedback. I love to chat with you guys in the comments. Send me an email, send me a DM, follow me on Instagram, subscribe. Until next time, bye!